Hello, it is Mary. And in this video, we are going to go over how I keep my crickets since I do not do colonies of them. I don't mind going to PetSmart or Pet I go to PetSmart most of the time for my crickets and I get 20 at a time. Sometimes I get 15, sometimes I get just that day's worth, but I prefer to get like 20 at a time. And the ones at PetSmart, they're, and I believe at Petco too, they're, whatever makes them make the noise is clipped on them so they don't make noise if you get a colony of them you will um you will have them be making noise if i had the room and i had a reptile room slash office to do my videos in i would probably start making a mealworm colony I would make a super worm colony I would make um do a cricket colony dubio roaches I can't find them at PetSmart so I haven't tried dubio roaches on my crested gecko or not crested on little Bob or uh, Zumi. So before I get into any more, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications to let you know whenever I post another video. Now let's get into this. So if you are going to do get feed your leopard gecko or your chameleon crickets get yourself a creature keeper or the cricket keepers that they keep under the where the crickets are if you get the cricket the cre creature keepers that are under the crickets it be easier for you than doing what i'm doing they didn't give me egg crate this time, so I don't have an egg crate in here. Usually my PetSmart gives me a couple egg crates, pieces of egg crates that they have extra. And I put them in the creature keeper so they could hide. But they didn't do that today. And the other ones that I had had their feces and stuff in them. So I was like, no, I gotta throw these away. Because if they get too bad, you do not want them in the enclosure because you don't want them to get, get diseases. And feed that to your uh, leopard gecko or chameleon. So, I have a medium creature, creature keeper. And in the creature keeper, I should have brought the food over. I do have the orange food that you can buy in this one I have lizard calcium that is a food that they have this one that I have a cricket on it that one right there is has a towel with water on it I always make sure it's full has water and then get a the small dish at do I have one dead already in here? Do I have two dead in here? No, they're not dead. Um get the small dish that they have in the pet section in the reptile section or even you could probably do it in one of these. But in this bowl, I have a mixed greens salad mix that I put in there. It's got carrots, lettuce, kale, 
that kind of stuff to gut load my crickets like I said I have about 20 crickets in here I have two that their friends aren't letting them get over but they do eat that they eat the They eat that. I'm not sure about this orange stuff. They do drink the water. They do eat the lettuce and the carrots and all that. The Pet Smart that I go to, the neat thing is if you make friends at the pet store they will give you more crickets than you ask for uh, the last time I got crickets the thing that holds the amount that you want The thing that holds the amount that you want, um, they filled it up, and they put a couple of egg crates in there. So if I give them um, crickets, I do give Zoomy five crickets. I give uh, Bob five crickets. So if I give them both five crickets and nothing else, or give them a couple crickets and some mealworms, this usually lasts me four days. If they give me more than what I asked for, it lasts longer. But every four to five days, I have to get crickets. And 20 crickets, 20 crickets at the price that they sell them for is like 16 cents per cricket is almost $4 for me. And like I said, I don't mind going to PetSmart and buying crickets from them because of the fact that it does last me. If I only had uh, Bob, it would be every five to six days almost week to go get crickets but I also I didn't know I said this last four days I mix up what I give them so sometimes I give them five crickets sometimes I give them a couple crickets and mealworms Sometimes I give them two superworms and two crickets. Or I just give them the other stuff that I get and have the crickets the next day. Giving them a variety of stuff. Also, when I give I know Bob eats every, all the crickets I put in there. The thing you want to do is 
because I never see any the next day. Which, after this video, I will be feeding Bob, so that's another reason I was like, let me do this video. The couple that are upside down, they're still alive, so I'll feed those to Bob. Um, give them a variety of food. Like with Little Dude, I have... I had six different versions of complete diet. So every every time I had to change out the food, he would get a she or he little dude would get a different food by different manufacturer and different thing. So since I don't feed Bob or Sumi the kind of food that I feed Little do, you have to give them crickets. The other thing is when it's time to clean this out because all the crickets are gone or I didn't get to feeding them all the crickets right away because they only last three to four days. Because um, they get turned over and they can't get back so they die. Crickets don't smell good. I would try to make a mealworm colony, but I don't have the space for it. Like I... It's cheap to buy a hundred mealworms. It's cheap to go to the pet store and pick up Pick up 20 crickets. If, if you have a lot of uh, lizards, I would do a, I would do a cricket colony, I would do a doobie roach colony, or mealworm colony, or superworm colony, but if you like me, you don't have a lot of reptiles it's cheaper for your it's in the long run it's going to be easier for you to just go to PetSmart or Petco or wherever your local pet store to pick up crickets to pick up mealworms to pick up superworms because they will reproduce to the point where you'll start be giving away mealworms or dubia roaches or because you're not feeding, you don't have enough reptiles to feed them. I'm going to try to give a uh, little dude mealworms again. See how it does with them again. The last time I gave it mealworms, it loved it. If you do not get a carrier like this, you get the other one. They do have pulls outside both of them and the crickets do go inside of that 
container so you don't got to use tongs or with your hands to grab them to put them in the thing or what they do is hop in the in the calcium cover themselves in calcium so you don't got to dust the dust them with calcium I do have a cricket somewhere in here that escaped when I fed it to Zumi. It's probably dead under my nightstand or the thing next to me, the rolling cart. So, if you do have reptiles, get yourself a creature keeper like this. And put your crickets in it and have it house house jewelry in the right thing so you can keep them good because they just put them in a plastic bag and give them to you and that's not going to be safe because they'll all die after a while or just get enough to feed your your lizard them that one time. You want to make sure there's water in it. You want to make sure you've got food and the right food in it to feed your crested gecko not crested gecko some crested geckos do prefer bugs but like I said little dude I put mealworms in there for it to eat with calcium over them and it did not touch them the way I fed it to them was actually tong feeding them holding little dude on my hand and tong feeding it So, and the way I clean this, I do buy the um, reptile, reptile spray that you clean and sanitize your enclosures down with. I bought that, and I usually spray it down, let it sit for a little bit, and then I wipe it out and rinse it. You could also, I do keep the little cups. These are all new cups that I put in here because the other one's been in there for a little bit. Um, the cups. These cups are the little like serving cups you put stuff if you can see it that one right there is actually drinking the water and these two are sitting on the lettuce just chilling I think they're actually eating it So you want to make sure your crickets are well hydrated, fed, so that your lizards are happy. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know whenever I post another video. I hope you enjoyed this video about how I keep my crickets say happy and healthy. I think I'm going to have to buy some 
like little bowls to smaller ones so the crickets can get into the food better. Because there's one over here. That one right here. That can't figure out how to get up there. What's neat is some of these crickets, they will molt. And you'll have their dead carcasses down here. Not actually dead, but the skin that they molt. And you'll see the other cricket climbing around in here. And if your crickets do that, 